finally estimating the size of a molecule in the laboratory. Now, to measure very minute lengths such as the diameter of a molecule, we cannot use instruments such as those we have just discussed. Special microscopes are used, but even they have certain limitations. We can use a simpler method to estimate the size of a molecule. We take some molecular -like acid, which is a soapy liquid with large molecular size of 10 raised to power negative 9 meters or nanometer. We take water in a large trough and sprinkle some lycopodium -like powder on the surface. This is a greenish yellow powder that spreads uniformly throughout the surface of the water, forming a thin layer. We then add one drop of oleic acid onto the surface. The oil spreads out into a thin, large and roughly circular film which is one molecule thick on the surface of water by pushing away the lycopodium powder from the point where the drop lands on the surface. This makes the circular film of the oil identifiable on the water surface. We then measure the diameter D of the circular film to determine its area A. E. If the volume of the drop is approximately V cubic centimeters, then we can estimate the diameter H of the molecule as follows. Area A is equal to pi times half diameter squared. Volume is equal to A times thickness. This thickness is that of one molecule, so H. Therefore, V is equal to pi times half diameter squared times H. That gives us pi D squared over 4 times H. And so H is equal to 4 V over pi D squared. By counting the number of drops that make up one cubic centimeter, we can determine the volume of a single drop. For example here, I counted 27 drops that make one cubic centimeter, and that means one drop is equal to one over 27 cubic centimeters.